Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video now. In today's video, I am going to be making my Premier League predictions for next season, the 2017 to 2018 season. I'll be making my top six predictions and my bottom three because like I did for my championship prediction video, I only predicted the top six and bottom three, otherwise the video would drag on for too long. If you haven't actually seen my championship prediction video, I will leave it at the end of the video and in the description, so make sure you watch that because if I'm being honest, I'm surprised it did so well. Um, it hit, it's literally on 4.1k views at the moment, and yeah, I've had quite a few entries for the um, giveaway I'm doing. If, if you don't know, I'm doing a giveaway for it, so make sure you watch the video. You have the chance to win a £25 gift card. For this prediction video, I'm doing my Premier League predictions, and I'm literally just going to run through my top six and bottom three. In 20th, I'm going to start off with the bottom three. In 20th place, I put um, Huddersfield, okay? Now, the reason why I put Huddersfield is because they haven't actually reinforced much, okay? They've brought in a few new players. I know they've brought in Tom Ince. Um, he's at, he, he was at Derby last season, and he did very well in the championship. But, if I'm being honest, I don't think he's going to... Tom Ince, I don't think he's good enough for the Premier League. Like, he will score goals. He'll get Huddersfield goals. I'm not saying he won't. They need to make more signings if they want to stay in the Premier League, because the Premier League is a very hard league. So, I've put at the bottom Huddersfield, because I do think they're going to come back down. I just don't think they'll be able to handle it in the Premier League. Now in 19th place, I did put Burnley, okay? Now, some of you might be a bit surprised I put Burnley in the relegation zone because they stayed up last season, but they did struggle to stay up last season. They were about, I think they were six points off the relegation zone. I do think next season they'll struggle because every year the Premier League gets harder and Burnley are one of probably one of the weakest teams in the Premier League now. 19th. I'm putting Burnley. Now in 18th, this was a hard decision to make, but I've put this team because I wasn't actually too sure, to be honest. I wasn't, I really wasn't sure about this one. I've put, in 18th, I've put Brighton and Hove Albion, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, they could actually stay up. They're a very good team. Uh, they, were, they were in the championship last season and they did go up. Um, they finished second place. They should have won the league, but don't get me wrong, they've got a very solid team, but I think their team is championship quality uh, I think their team is championship quality in the Premier League their team probably won't be able to survive I just don't think their team will like this is pretty similar to Huddersfield their team aren't going to be good enough for the Premier League like don't get me wrong I do think Brighton could stay up they could like finish 17th or 16th just outside the relegation zone but in my opinion I just think Brighton are going to go down and it will be probably down to the last day that Brighton finish 18th but yeah now we move on to the top six this took quite a while to think about um, but yeah here goes in sixth place I've put Liverpool okay now Liverpool actually got Champions League last season I think Liverpool are gonna be the one I think Liverpool will be the team that finishes sixth um, because the teams that I've predicted above them um, have a lot better squads and they're actually reinforcing whereas Liverpool they haven't reinforced and got quality players and expensive players into their team but yeah they are a good team Liverpool and they could prove me they could prove them, they could prove me wrong and do as well as they did last season because they had a really good season last season but yeah for me I think Liverpool will finish sixth next season now moving up to fifth place I've put I've put this team because they're well known for coming fourth um, I think you can already guess. I've put Arsenal in fifth, okay? Um, Arsenal have just got Lacazette. Absolutely brilliant signing, okay? Um, I can't remember how much he bought for. I think it was about 52 million. Um, obviously a really good signing. Arsenal have been interested in Lacazette for quite a while now. They, w they were interested in him in the last transfer window. But it's actually happened now. Arsenal have got Lacazette. It's a great signing. I think he's going to do really well in the Premier League. And it will be interesting to see how he does at Arsenal. But I think Lacazette is a great signing. And around Lacazette, he's going to get service as well. Because Arsenal are very... Arsenal play football on the floor. They play really nice football. And I think that will suit... And I think that will actually suit Lacazette's style of play. So yeah, Arsenal are put in fifth place. I think they'll just miss out on the Champions League though. Because all of these predictions are my opinion. So don't go and bloody have a go at me in the comments because I'm just predicting I might be wrong there could be more signings to come but as it actually stands these are my predictions so as it stands I'm predicting Arsenal to come fifth moving up to fourth place 
Some of you might be surprised, I've put Man United, okay? Um, last year, yes, Man United did do very well. They missed out on Champions League, I think they came to sixth. Um, not a good season for Man United, um, and fans were probably gutted. So yeah, Man United fans are probably a bit gutted with last season, how last season went, but... I predicted them to come fourth because... Transfer rumours that Lukaku could actually go to Man U, and I, in my opinion, I think he will, because... Man U have put a bid in for 75 million. Okay, now Everton are going to be laughing. 75 million, I don't think Lukaku's worth that. Yes, he's a very quality player, but 75 million is ridiculous, okay? Um, but Lukaku, 75 million, no way. I would not price him at 75 million. I'd say 50 million. Like, I'd price him at the same price range as Lacazette, maybe, but 75 million is not that good enough to be sold for that much, in my opinion. But yes, he's a good player. And Man United do have other players such as Pogba, Ibrahimovic I think is going, but Rooney plays for Man U. Man United have a quality team, we all know that, and I think Man U are going to have a great season next season. If you haven't also seen, there's speculations about Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Real Madrid. I can't remember the reason, but Ronaldo might be leaving Madrid. He, I'm not sure if he will. Um, we've got quite a while until the transfer room actually ends now, but if he was to leave Madrid, I think he'd go to Man United, if I'm being honest. I think he'd go to his old club. Man United would snap him up any day. And yeah, Man United are predicted to come fourth. Now, in third place, I've put this team... This this took a bit of time thinking about this, but recently they've lost a few players. They've lost John Terry. Um, they could lose Diego Costa, because he's apparently... He might be going back to Atletico Madrid. So yeah, third place, I've put Chelsea, okay? Yes, they won the league last season, and they had a very good season last season. They've got a great team, they've got Diego Costa, they've got Eden Hazard, they did have John Terry, but it, let's be honest, Eden Hazard and Diego Costa are actually, we can, we can all agree with this, they're probably Chelsea's best players, okay? With Costa, uh, with speculations of Costa actually going back to Atletico Madrid or actually leaving Chelsea, Diego Costa does score a lot of goals, and last season he scored a lot of goals for Chelsea. And yeah, so Chelsea, I have predicted third, okay? Second place, I was I was sort of tied between first and second, but second place, I've decided to put Man City, okay? Um, Man City, we all know the squad they've had. We all know the squad Man City have. They've got brilliant players. Man City have a solid all-round team. Man City have a solid all-round team, such as who I put first. Tottenham Hotspurs, I've put first. So first, I put, yeah, Tottenham Hotspur to come first, okay? Um, to be honest, it's going to be close between first and second. I think it's going to be a title race like it was last season. I couldn't really decide between first and second, but I'll put Tottenham first, Man City second, and yeah, Tottenham, in my opinion, are going to win the league next season. That is the end of the video. First Tottenham, second Man City, third Chelsea, fourth Man United, fifth Arsenal, sixth Liverpool, 18th Brighton, 19th Burnley, 20th Huddersfield. And there you go. They are my predictions for next season's Premier League. 2017-2018 season. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you want to make your Premier League predictions, comment down below your predictions. And yeah, I'll see who does the best, and I'll leave all your comments, likes, and I'll reply to some of them. And yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. I'd just like to say a massive, massive, massive thank you for all the support I've been getting. If you don't know, thank you for all the support. It's been amazing and I hope you can carry on with the support because I'd like to say a big thank you for that 701 subscribers. I hit 700 subscribers today and we're growing, okay? Honestly, my channel's growing quite quickly now and all the support really does mean a lot, okay? Um, um, 700 subscribers is a massive achievement for me. So let's go on and hit 1,000 subscribers because if that does happen, I've got a 1K special of... I'm planning it at the moment, but that's if I hit 1k, so if you're new and you're watching this video, subscribe down below, it really will mean a lot to me, and yeah, remember to leave this video a like, because that also means a lot, all my football vlogs does smash it with the like, all my football vlogs smash it with the likes, so make sure you smash this video a like, check out my EFL Championship prediction video, because that is the video where you have a chance to win a gift card, so watch that video, I'll leave it at the end of the video, and yeah, thank you for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.